Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for the newest ABC Family show, Stitchers. Uh, now this was online uh, early, I think a couple days early, and it was on the ABC Family uh, YouTube channel, and it airs tomorrow after or yeah, after Pretty Little Liars. I was gonna say before, but it's after Pretty Little Liars. Uh, and you know, I've been seeing commercials for the show. I I, I won't say I've been following the news for it because I haven't been like super excited to see Stitchers. But I was like, oh, you know, interesting premise. I'll I'll always support a sci-fi slash action type show on ABC Family. I kind of miss those from uh, from the channel. Uh, so I wanted to give this one a try. Now, what is this TV show about? It's about this girl who's college age and she has this. Um, very rare disease, I guess we'll call it, that she can't really tell time. She She's very smart and she's able to use math to say, oh, well, I guess this is how much time I've been here, but she doesn't really know how to perceive time. Uh, so that's kind of her thing. And now this government agency, which we don't really know what it is, I guess, you know, uh, deals with the Stitcher program and they use her to go into people's minds to figure out death and you know what they have to figure out with the with their agency um and that's pretty much what the show is about we, ha we have a couple of supporting characters you know the head of the agency the helpers uh you know her friend slash could be love interest in the future who runs the pro uh, not runs the program but runs the technology for the program her roommate that she doesn't really like but ends up be becoming involved in the stitcher program or at least involved with her um, dealing with the Stitcher program, I'll say, like, that helps her out with certain things, and she finds out about the Stitcher program, uh, and there's stuff about her father, uh, in this, in, uh, in this pilot, um, that we don't really learn a lot about, but we know as the season continues, I'm sure we'll learn who her father is, and how she got this disease, or how that's connected, I don't know, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the whole pilot, uh, and I have to say I was relatively not impressed, uh, I would say the you know, it reminds me a lot of the TV show Dollhouse, and I've seen a couple episodes here and there, but the reason Dollhouse got canceled was because it's kind of hard to connect to towards the beginning. Uh, and also, I think they aired episodes out of order, like Fox always does, but in the beginning, I think a lot of people didn't attach to, to Dollhouse because, it, you know, it's hard to get into a character that doesn't have a personality or is attached to different people's personalities. Now, I think a show like iZombie, they, they're they kind of the rare case of using different people's personalities and making it work and still having their main character have their own personality. Now here, our main character does have a personality, but it's really hard to attach to. She's a very cold character. Uh, she's all about math. She's not really connected to people, so the audience doesn't really connect her. Okay, and that's fine. You know, there are characters like that. But when a character is like that, you have to A, have really good supporting characters, and really the only supporting character that might be interesting, I thought, was the roommate and one of the tech guys. They're like, oh, they made me chuckle a little bit here, but they weren't even that great. Uh, and then one of the, I guess, main secondary characters, uh, potential love interest, um, the, the head of the technology, uh, department, he talked way too fast, and I was like, whoa, wait, what is he saying? Like, I thought he acted a bit too geeky, uh, it was just too fast, and I was like, oh, wait, what are, what is the lines? Like, he was rushing his lines throughout the whole, or at least the ha the first half of the episode, uh, so it was hard to connect to the secondary characters. All right, so B, B, if the main character is not interesting, or, you know, it's hard to connect to, you should have a really interesting world, and Stitcher's it wasn't that interesting. It wasn't, you know, that original. I've seen this before um, in other shows. And again, going back to Dollhouse, it's very similar to that show. Um, except there's not much mythology here. Uh, you don't really know much about this government agency, why they're doing the things they're doing. Uh, and that's why this, this pilot was very hard to connect to. Now, for television shows, I like giving a couple of episodes a try. So maybe I'll give the next episode a try to see where it goes. But I was relatively not impressed with the pilot, sadly, because I, I do want a, a good sci-fi uh, ABC Family show on again, but I don't think Stitchers is going to be that that show for ABC Family, at least in my opinion. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Uh, don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, the description below. Don't forget to uh, yeah, uh, like my Facebook page for Like Father, Like Daughter and uh, check out my comic book. So I will see you guys later. Bye.